If you've been with us before, AVC or Alice and I in a conversation on coins, you know this is one of my loves in the Silver Eagle series because since 2006, there now are three coins made on a yearly basis. The uncirculated or bullion coin, the 2023s are just out right now and that's what we're working with. And then there'll be the proof issue. The proof issue for 2023 is gonna be out late February. And then the rarest every single year, sorry, I got a little excited, <laughs> every single year, it's always the lowest mintage, always, it wins, which is that W mint mark on the uncirculated called satin or burnished. But tonight, we're one step better. We not only have a couple, we have them in perfect 70 condition. Look at these. And these are special. They brought it out in 2006 for the 20th anniversary, and they've been making them every year since. Now, 2007, 2008 are year two and year three in the program. Now the timeout is the your choice means you don't have to get both to get in, but if you want to have a really special Silver Eagle and a very rare Silver Eagle in your collection, these W mint mark, W struck silver dollars are something special. Now these are the satin finish or burnish like Steve referenced as a method of manufacture. Proofs are struck twice on highly polished dyes and on circulated or just regular business strikes, but the satin finish are struck in a sandblasting type of procedure, so it gives them this satiny appeal on the overall coin obverse and reverse. It's kind of like paint. Right. That might be the best analogy, the right? The gloss is uh, uh, your the proof. proof, and then the satin, of course, is your... Flat is your regular, uncirculated. uncirculated, and then your satin is that like mixture in between, but it's a nice look and a nice feel. And the reverse has that West Point mint mark, like Steve referenced. There it is on just above the word fine. Uh, about seven o'clock there, West Point, mint mark. That means it's a satin finished coin. Now these are perfect 70s, folks, 139.95. If you look at 2007, let's just start with that year. The proof mintage, 821,759. They made over nine million uncirculated issues that year. This particular coin, they burnished 600,000, 621,000. So it is the lowest and the rarest made that year. 2008, same thing. 20.5 million uncirculated coins made, over 700,000 proofs, and just 533,000 and change were made in 2008 with this burnished finish. So the mintage figure wins right off the bat. Now, these are 70s, and we're selling them for 139.95. The proof that they made more of, that I just referenced, the proofs in OGP are selling for $165. So ba the basic coin, of which there are 821,000 and 700,000 respectively, are at 165. And you're selling the rarer coin in the finest grade for less than that. And the answer is yes. Yes, and that's what we thought was remarkable. That's the <laughs> that's fun part the about this. That's the find, everybody. Now, another way to look at this is just look at last year, 2022. They made 500,000 proofs, right? So they made fewer proofs. And in 70, there are 88,000 and change that have been certified. So less than 20%. So when we normally average in the 30s, last year was an off year, a special year for collectors. Because I mean, 70s are fewer than prior years. But if you look at that coin, it's a $179 to $199 coin everywhere out in the industry right now. We're looking at a coin, 2007, that has a known population under 30, and the 2008, which is only 33,704. Significantly rarer than what we're seeing today, yet these are going back over 15 years to the very beginning of this particular series of coin. And again, in 1986 through, nine, through 2005, those first 20 years, we had two coins, Unk and Proof, that was it. For the 20th anniversary we celebrated in 2006, they introduced satin for the first time. It was made available as an individual coin and in that beautiful three-piece set. People loved it so much, they continued it in 2007 and 2008. They took a couple of year hiatus with all special issues. And then they brought it back in 2011 for the 25th anniversary. People loved it again and they kept it as part of our yearly release every year since then. 
And every year, every year since it was issued, it is the rarer of the big three, Ankh Proof Satin. So out of the gate, it's the best coin. And it sells for less money than an Ankh. Can anybody explain that? It's one of those, yeah, it just defies logic. It's just, but again, I understand why people love proofs. They are gorgeous, right? And, but the mintages are higher. And in 70, the populations are higher. And they sell for more money. I like numbers inside of the coins themselves. And I like the uniqueness. Hey, if you don't like the word sat and they're burnished, how about double your mint mark on an uncirculated coin? Because that's really what this is, even though the finish is a little bit different. And they are rarer than the proofs, yet they are significantly less money than the proofs. So they're fewer made, fewer certified 70, and lesser cost. I mean, if anybody called you up and gave you a stock deal like that, what would happen? You would complain because it jumped before you had a chance to jump in. And I am the same exact way. I get it. But that's this series. It is a, well, guess what? The last three or four years, look at those prices. Now why? Because we've been talking about it. And I talk a little bit more agitated on this particular topic than a few of my other loves in the collecting because I understand the numbers. I get it. I've been doing this for a real long time. I just can't understand how proofs and others can be more available, more certified, and more money. It's like defying logic. Right? As I go into a restaurant and the 16 ounce filet is half the price of the 8 ounce. Now, it might be because I'm only hungry for an 8 ounce, so I'm okay with that. But on the other hand, come on, it's such a much, it's a better deal. More for less. And that's the AVC way. Lawless certified 70 NGC says that these are perfect. Each one is independently certified. It's a your choice, $139.95. You can grab them both if you'd like to, though. They're both available online as well, abccoins.com. 905-8526, that's the item number on the 2007. And 905-8825, that is the item number on the 2008. $139.95 tonight, folks. That's the item, uh, price on these perfect 70s. These are the burnished, the lowest mintage of each one of these years, and the rarest even in 70. I mean, 2022, we, we, another special issue, they made 500,000 proofs, and there's 88,000 in 70, and they sell for up, upwards of $200. Now, we did find one of our competitors that has both of these, and they had them both on about 10 days ago. So I thank them for having them on the air because it is a special coin. It is a much rarer coin, as I've referenced a couple of times in the last few minutes. They were at 199 for the same coin. Tonight, we are $60 less in the same rarity. So other than we're both talking about it, which is important, it's, the, it's part of that next step with this great series, this undervalued, this rare series. I mean, this is like the cusp of Franklinville and what we saw years ago when we first started talking about that. But tonight, the value at $139.95, that's nothing but the AVC way. That's what we do. Find the great value, and we're not interested in selling one coin. We want to make sure this whole deal is moved, and we're that close. Everybody, I think we need to be moving on.